What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. It's tournament fishing related, kayak fishing related, but we're building something. So in today's episode, sorry about the light, I got a GoPro so you guys can get another angle. But in today's episode, we are going to be building a platform to sleep on for car camping. So a lot of tournament guys, it's expensive to travel. Usually I go with a few buddies, split an Airbnb, which definitely saves money. Sometimes you just, you know, you're trying to save a few bucks. So for this video, I'm making a sleeping platform. I kind of got in the whole YouTube car camping um, videos and just, went deep down that hole. So today I'm making a sleeping platform for my Subarus. You know, for practicing, you know, save save a couple bucks when I can. Car camp at a campground or wherever else I can car camp. We went to Home Depot, we got the supplies. Right now I'm gonna throw up an image right here. And this is something I created in Photoshop, which is my plans. So basically I can fit a six foot sleeping platform. I've watched videos with the same exact car, so that's how I knew that. Um, if you have trucks, you know, if you get a cap, it's way different. There's so many different truck builds for camping, but for cars, this might be better. Um, I already have a sleeping pad. I already have a really good cold degree um, sleeping bag for hunting. Um, so I have all that supplies, but they say to have a sleeping platform to put everything on. So the image right here is what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is creating a six foot section, four foot, and then a two foot section attached with a piano hinge style. And that way I can flip up the front uh, top two foot, which is gonna be where my passenger seat slides right up. So you'll see when we're all done so I can flip it up move the seat back when I need to go. And that way, you know, I've tent camped at tent sites Then you gotta pack up the tent the morning of the tournament if you're not staying that night and just, we're gonna try the whole car camping thing. So also if you can see in the image, I am creating an actual drawer system, um, a little cutting board slash cooking station, two foot board that slides out the bottom when my hatch is open on my car. And this way, cooking food, stuff like that, hot summertime, I can chill out, um, have a little area to put some stuff on to cook. But um, they didn't have the, I need to get the exact cooking board length 18 by 24 i got the hinges today but i did not get the cutting board size so that'll be added on later but in today's video we're just building the actual um platform itself i also um i don't know if i'll make a video on this but car camping essentials is this uh double reflective insulation um dura right pretty cheap at home depot and that is to make window covers for all your windows um, look up a bunch of YouTube videos. There's a bunch on it, but that way it's a little more secure. Black out your windows so you don't have anything, um, anyone looking in your car when you're sleeping. So, and if you're camping in cold weather or heat, it keeps the temperature more stabilized. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get going. I have a GoPro, so that'll be filming the whole insula installation, and then I'll kind of walk you guys through it as we go. All right, guys, so step one is, like I said, I bought the boards pre-cut, which was nice. Um, that way I don't have to worry about cutting it, but I have a four foot by two foot section, and then a two foot by two foot section, which again, is gonna hinge up. And then I bought piano hinges, and then I bought piano hinges. Generally, I'd like just a two foot one, but they didn't have any, so I got two 12 inch ones, which should work, um, like I said. So I'm gonna connect it up there, put these hinges on, and then I'm gonna flip it over and add the two by fours to then raise it off. So um, definitely wanna measure out your car. My Subaru, like I said, I've watched videos on it. So kind of like see what you need. But for me, the whole point of the flipping up is when I lay out, fold this out and it's six foot, my passenger seat has to go all the way up forward, lean forward, and in the morning, Instead of packing everything up, I literally can flip up the top two foot section, slide the seat back, and I'm ready to go. So yeah, got the two hinges, we're gonna connect that. I got 100 screws. I got a pre-sync uh, hole drill bit to, um, you wanna make sure all your screws going in the two by fours are flat. Um, also, like I got, um, if you see on the garage floor through the GoPro, I have all this foam matting I got for ice fishing. It actually, I believe, is almost the same size as this, so I might put that on top of the plywood before I put my inflatable sleeping mat, just in case, you know, you don't want splinters, you don't want to pop it. Um, there are also f uh, sleeping mats that aren't inflatable as well. But, so the first step is adding the two piano hinges, which they come with hardware already. I'm not gonna pre-sync these ones. Um, so this, again, is gonna be, um, they're barely maybe a quarter inch tall. They are gonna be underneath the sleeping pad, but again, that's why you have the pad and maybe add some of uh, these foam puzzle piece flooring as well to then level out your bed as well when you're sleeping. So let's get these installed, switch over to the GoPro, drop that, 
and uh, let's get started installing. Alrighty guys, the piano hinges are installed. Um, yes, they're two different pieces of plywood. Again, the whole moral of this is to be cheaper, so I just got whatever I could get, but they're both half inch. Now, the hardware that came with the piano hinges, they do slightly go through the other side. I don't think I'll be, like I said, there's gonna be four inches, uh, two by fours, so it's gonna be four inches off the bottom of my car, so they're not gonna poke anything. I shouldn't be storing anything under there. The, the drawer that I'm installing for the little cutting table isn't gonna go all the way up in there, so like I said, the hinges maybe come up a quarter inch, but with the puzzle pieces or a sleeping pad, you'll be golden. So that's that step. So now it is installing the two by four. I got two two by fours, four foot lengths, and then I got three two by fours in two foot lengths. So of course, there's gonna be one on each side on the two foot section, one on each side on the four foot section. And then I got another two foot section because that's actually gonna be off the bottom where the drawer, that's where one of the hinges for the drawer is gonna be attached. So it's gonna be attached on one of the four foot sections and one on the two foot sections, which I don't know if I'm gonna install that today because I still need the cutting board at least installing the hinges and maybe that smaller one so i'm technically going to have three two by fours on the bottom end of it two at the top one on each side which it's half inch you could probably go with three quarter inch but again saving money i'm not jumping up and down on this thing i'm literally laying on it uh, i'm a big guy but with two by fours underneath i don't think i'm going to have any issues but who knows maybe i will we'll find out if you see this video and a couple months later another one comes out maybe maybe we should have went with three quarters but we'll find out but from the videos i saw half inch was fine so we're gonna go with half inch so now we're gonna flip it over to the bottom side which will be on the uh, laying down on the inside of the car and we're gonna install the two by fours all right light on the flipping upside down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it right side up we're going to Set the two by um, the two foot two by four and the four foot two by four on each side, and that way we can pre sync the holes from the top to make sure the screw heads are flat, and then we're gonna screw it right on. But as you can see, it's gonna be even on each side, and then it'll flip right up when I need to be, and then that way you have four inch clearance underneath. And then the last two foot section of two by four is going to go on the bottom here and it's gonna come up two feet, but it's only gonna be, when I measured my car, I have to have four inches on uh, one side before I can start the drawer. So one of the closer um, side to the inside middle of the car will have a, a drawer hinge on it. And then the last two foot section two by four is gonna be 18 inches in um, to the opposite side. And that's what the cutting board on the drawer system. So that way I can use it for cooking, setting stuff on when the hatch is open, anything like that. So next thing is lining everything up. We're gonna pre-sync all the holes and attach all these two by fours. I got a hundred inch and a half screws, inch and a quarter, sorry. A hundred inch and a quarter. And that should do the trick. Put quite a few screws on each one and that's it. All right, so we got the one two by four attached. I did pre-drilled one on each end, put the screw in to make sure it stays flush, and then I went and did the rest. So I got six screws in that one section, which I feel like is plenty. Um, you don't wanna go too far pre-drilling, sinking the holes because it's only half inch. Um, I probably went a little deep on a couple of them, but it's fine. Six screws are gonna hold that thing, no issue. So we're gonna do the four foot section. Like I said, one on each side, one in the middle, and then we'll do the rest of them. That way it doesn't move on you. And then we're gonna do the other side and then we're pretty much done. All 
Alrighty, there we have it. We have the four foot section screwed down, the two foot section screwed down, halfway done. I did six screws in the first. I ended up doing 11 in the four foot section. Again, eye it up. You don't wanna go, not enough screws. You don't wanna go too many. Now it's literally just copied on the other side and then we're pretty much done besides the door frame and then we'll throw it in the car and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, there we had it. We duplicated the other side. It's totally together. Got a phone call from my dad, so took a little break. We got it all screwed up. One thing I did want to mention is sandpaper. Um, just to touch it up, get the sides um, a little rounded out, just for, again, if you have an inflatable sleeping pad. We're going to sand this down. And then, like I said, I don't think we're going to add the last two foot two by four yet because we still need the cutting board, but that's pretty simple. You add hinges on both sides, one of the four foot section, then the other one on the two by two foot section of two by four. That'll get screwed on just like this. And then you slide it in. So I'll probably add that in uh, at the end later. Later on when I end up doing it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna sand this down and then uh, lay on it, test it out, and then we'll throw it in the car and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, we sanded it down, rounded the edges, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I just threw the foam floor matting on it um, so I don't get absolutely covered in sawdust, which I pretty much am already. But we're gonna lay down on this thing, see how I fit. And then we're gonna throw it in the car and see what it looks like in the car set up. Alrighty guys, laid on it, seems good. We'll see how much play, like again, half inch board. If I need to add another two foot section in the top half, I can put one up the middle as well, just for extra support. But again, I think I should be all right. Let's uh, get it out in the car, kind of set it up how I think we're gonna have it and then see what it's like. Alrighty guys, sorry about the ice fishing clothes, but we laid it in there. This is supposed to be up there. Um, turns out that I'm like an inch to an inch and a half too long. Um, it gets to like right about here um, with the bottom half over here. And when I was flipping this up, I'm not able to flip this up when it's set up. So I'm deciding to take an inch and a half the top end because one for the drawer system, I don't want to cut. Um, I have a handsaw. Um, don't have the electric saw with me. So we're gonna hand saw the top end. So one, uh, it's I can flip it up and down from when it's set up properly with the head end, head end up there. And that way, if it's kind of a shitty cut, it doesn't affect the drawer system. So we're gonna cut it inch and a half shorter with a hand saw, unfortunately, and then we're gonna set it back up. Alrighty guys, there we have it. Shorten that end, inch and a half. Um, sand it all again, added a screw at the head right where it was cut off. Um, the foam's a little short now, but you know, I'm like five foot nine, five foot 10 on a good day. So it was already just a hair over six foot. So it's still 5'11". Um, like I said, it's tight here and it, it hugs, but then you're loose here. And that's why the measurement was probably off. But as you can see, this is where the cutting board's gonna come out. I'm gonna add another two foot section of two by four, have the hinges right on top. And then I'm hoping We'll see, I might have to put some, uh, maybe a moving blanket under this just to raise it a hair and then out will slide uh, a 24 inch little table cutting board slash thing, but it works. Um, it folds up now. I just have to, the way the seat is curved, if you try to fold it up now, it catches right here. So I kind of have to pull the bottom out just a hair, fold it up, push it back in um, and then I'm good to go. Um, I'm gonna have storage under here that goes up to right here so it's level. That side is on my armrest. So it's pretty stable already. Um, it looks like it leans back just a hair. But like I said, I'll put some storage in here, some boxes. Like that's just uh, extra stuff if I have issues towing with the trailer. So I'll just put it and it'll raise it just enough on that two by four so it'll be angled. But we're gonna hop in this quick and see how comfy it is. So my head's perfectly flat and I just have a slight bend in my knees, but I usually lay on my side and bend my knees a little bit anyway. 
which also I'll have linked below um, my Amazon cart and that'll actually my Amazon storefront and that'll have the foam mattress I'm gonna put in here so from other car camping stuff I saw there's a tri-fold twin size uh, four inch memory foam mattress that I'm gonna put in here so I'll probably make this adjust this so it fits I have inflatable um, like a half inch one inch sleeping mat that I'll put on here and then a sleep and then I'll put the four inch memory foam um, and then I'll put on uh the sleeping bag and test that out and maybe i don't need the inflatable we'll see but there we go all right guys there we have it we built ourselves a little sleeping box pad wooden frame for car camping so um i'll throw in here the rest of the assembly um and then we'll finish it out there what's going on guys already part two of this video um well it's all one video but couple days later i got the cutting board um in the mail it's actually pretty legit it is 18 inches by 24 inches it's probably half an inch actually actually an inch thick and yeah got this off amazon i will leave it linked below um everything that i got through amazon i'll have linked below everything else was uh most of it was home depot for this build but um got the cutting board so if you guys remember i'll put up the schematic here that i drew up um on photoshop and what i want to do what this is is a cutting board on drawer slides so these drawer slides are 24 inch drawer slides um from home depot they're not soft clothes because they were more expensive these are literally 10 bucks comes with each side and the screws for it so what this is going to do is this is going to be underneath the sleeping box that i built and what it is it's going to slide out so what happens is this the sleeping box is four inches tall i might have to raise it a little bit more since this is a, a one inch thick board originally i was trying to have a little thinner um but what it is is it's going to be underneath on the drawer slides with that extra two foot piece of two by four um, one side of the drawer is going to be connected to the far left side because um, there's the two four foot sections of two by four one's going to be connected there side of the drawer and the other side because it's not the whole width of the sleeping box that's only that's 24 inches this is about 18 and that is because when i open the hatch of my car there's a couple inches from where the side of the bed's gonna be to where the opening of the hatch is gonna be. So I might, now that I'm kind of looking at this, forgetting about the thickness of the two by fours and such, the sleeping box may be into the center. The goal was to have the sleeping box as tight against one side of the car as possible. And then this was going to be sliding out to use for a table cooking when the hatch is open for when I'm car camping, um, when it's summer out. When it's winter out, I'm thinking of just off the top of my head is folding up that top two foot section, pushing it all the way back. And I should be able to open and get this drawer out most of the way to cook inside of the car if it's super cold out. Um, sorry about the GoPro. When it's super cold out, like for the first derb um, that I'm going to be camping out for. So that's the goal is to attach these drawer systems and then attach the other end of the drawer systems, one to the two by four already on the sleeping box which you kind of see over there. And then the other one to the additional two foot section of two by four, and then add that onto the sleeping box as well. So you're gonna have more screws on the top. You're gonna have to sand it down or pre-sync them. And yeah, so we're gonna start on it. I got a GoPro looking overhead, but the first things first pretty much is adding the drawer systems to the side of this cutting table. We're gonna flip it upside down because we want this nice top to be the top of it when you pull it out. So let's get started on it. All right, so first things first, Flip this upside down. I've already laid out these. Um, figure out which half goes where, what half mounts on. Um, the wider half here is going to mount on to um, the two by fours underneath, and then these are gonna be the sliding drawers. But you can mount the three screws here or three on the side. There's 12 screws, so three for each thing. I'm gonna do the ones that go on the cutting board through the side because there's not enough real wood right here to grab and I don't want it to split out. So we're gonna mount it on the sides here with the three holes right here. So we're gonna get that lined up. I want it really close to being up underneath. So I'm gonna have it really tight on the one side and we're gonna mount them up.
Alrighty guys, there we have it. We have both sides attached, three screws there, three screws on the other side. And like I said, these fat plates here are for the inside um, or the two by fours it's gonna connect to. So we'll lay that out on the kayak here, use it as our work table and uh, get ready to just freaking install this bad boy. Alrighty, here we have the sleeping platform. It's folded up using the kayak, shout out Old Town, also a work table. And what we have is this spare two foot section of two by four. This is gonna go underneath. So what's gonna happen is one side of the drawer system is gonna be mounted up under here. And then the other side is gonna be mounted on this two by four. And then this is gonna get mounted up underneath and be a third two by four, which will get screwed in through the top, like the rest of them, as you see here, pre-sunk, sanded down, nice and soft. But the reason is, like I said, when I open up my trunk, there's a couple inches on this side before you come out the hatch. So we're gonna kind of have the cutting board over as far as we can, but I didn't think of the thickness of this. So it might be, this sleeping box might be off the side an extra inch or two, but other than that, it's gonna slide right out of the hatch probably like here over and I'm gonna have a nice cooking and just table to use when I'm car camping. Alrighty guys, we got that side installed. Just make sure you give yourself enough space in here. The first time I messed up and had to lower it, it now fits which I have to take into consideration. I'm definitely gonna have to lift this up, whether put it on a moving blanket in the car or something so I get enough clearance to uh, for the cutting board to come out of the car. We'll do that later on. But now we gotta do this side, install it the same uh, height and level as that one. And then this will get installed underneath through the top here. And then that should go right in and we're done. Alrighty guys, we've got the other side of the drawer system installed, leveled, um, and then we got the top holes pre-sunk, and then I'm just gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna put the drawer mounted in it, set the two by four on it so it holds it solid, make sure it's not too, um, that this doesn't move left or right and make it too loose, make sure it holds the board tight, and then we're gonna screw it on, and uh, I'll show you that after. Alrighty guys, there we have it, little, Mount it on top, sand it down again, and then there we go. Nice cutting board, table from Amazon, rigged up. Goes right in, not a soft close, probably shouldn't slam it that hard. But made sure that there's just a little bit of play. Also gives me an extra support for sleeping on it. We'll cut to the next part where I have it in the car, but uh, yeah, we're all done with it. Came out awesome. Alrighty guys, here we have it set up. Like I said, the fold up there, the seats all the way forward. So in the morning, I just flip it up to the top side and put my seat back and I can go and drive. But the last addition here, as you see, I have like four of these puzzle piece foam mats in the garage just to test it out, how much I have to raise it. So I think maybe like two there. And then I think I'm going to get a moving blanket to be underneath this and then over here just to keep some some of the stuff semi clean. But this just perfectly rolls right out. It's kind of clear of my hitch. My trailer will be attached, but I can stand right here and cook. And then I'm thinking when I fold that up and if I fold the top end in and push it all the way in, I can actually use this from inside. Won't have as much laying room, but just to cook. I could cook from inside if it's really cold out. But there we have it. Just wanted to show you this real quick. Fold up that top piece, slide it up, and I could really cook. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but I'm sure I could stabilize it more. But I could literally fold that up, sit there, or sit over here, depending on how I have my stuff arranged, and I could cook from inside. Sweet. 
Alrighty guys, there we have it, a finished wood bed platform, I think is the correct term for car camping. If you guys wanna get into car camping, um, I, I've only done it a couple of times, but from the videos I did, a lot of research I did, that really suggests a platform. So I have an inflatable sleeping mat. I have a really good negative 20 degree sleeping bag, which I will never be camping in that. Um, and then I also found a um, really good mattress, like four inch memory foam that I'm gonna pick up. I'll have everything linked down below uh, from Amazon that I got from Amazon. Um, like that mattress I'll be picking up is on Amazon, but um, the rest of it was Home Depot. I hope you guys enjoyed this little build. I really like how this cutting board came out. This cutting board is really high quality off Amazon. Um, I'm actually really excited to try it out. Um, and yeah, my kayak worked good as a work table for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I think I'm going to film a lot of my car camping this year. Um, usually for tournaments, kayak fishing tournaments, I, you know, split an Airbnb with buddies, but there's some tournaments I want to go practice. And for that, I really don't want to hash out extra money for places to stay. So I'm going to actually try to car camp some of them and save, save myself a little money. So if you want to save yourself some money, um, consider car camping, consider this. Um, like I said, I'm going to build window covers, thermal window covers, so you don't have anyone looking in your car whenever you're there or not, um, but there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to DIY that as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Like I said, I got new trailer hubs in the uh, mail, so I might film how to replace trailer hubs on a kayak trailer, or um, this is actually an old Jumbo trailer but pretty much hubs to any trailer. Don't know if you guys would be interested in that. I think I'm gonna film that. And yeah, I still gotta do a video on my battery box system I made, uh, that I made, um, that I showed in my live scope setup. And I think that's it. We got some tournaments coming up in the next couple months. Super excited. Um, we're pretty much thawed out here in PA. So we're hitting the lakes every single chance we can, get on the water, get practice, um, get dialed in for the tournament season. Um, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.